Since the release of Windows 11, a lot of people have been complaining about the looks, the features and the functionality of Windows 11 compared to Windows 10. To some of you guys, Windows 11 just doesn't feel right and you are also questioning Microsoft about the decisions they made in this release of Windows. So to conquer all these problems with Windows 11, I made a list of tweaks which we are going to apply through this video. Just a quick disclaimer though, in this video I'm going to mainly focus on third-party applications which will make your Windows 11 experience hopefully a lot better. And in case if something goes wrong, I will also show you how to uninstall the application or the tweak later in the video. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. Let's start with the taskbar. So Windows 10, Windows 8 and Windows 7 all offer never combined taskbar buttons. So in Windows 11, this unfortunately still isn't available. So this feature isn't there yet. And hopefully we will see it very soon in the next revision of Windows 11. And also in Windows 10 and many other previous releases of Windows, you are able to actually move the taskbar to different positions on your desktop. For example, to the top, to the left or to the right. But yet, still this isn't available in Windows 11. Now to fix all these issues with the taskbar we can use a program called Explorer Patcher. I will also put a link in video description down below for that and now if you go to the releases here scroll down till you see the EP setup exe file. Now click on the file and if you see this security notification at the top click on this arrow right here and make sure that you select allow download. Now, when you get the file, open the setup exe file and then you should also see Windows protected your PC. Now, I think the developer for this application is quite trusted. So if you click here more info, you can click here run anyway and install this program. Now, when installing this program, you should see file explorer restarting. So this is completely normal. Now here we can see that we have Windows 10 taskbar on Windows 11. So this means that explorer patcher actually applied a few of its settings. Now, if I press the start menu, we can see that it shows up in the middle, but we do not want that. So if I right click on the taskbar, then I will go to the taskbar settings and under the taskbar behaviors, we can select here left for the taskbar alignment. And if I press X and open up the start menu, once again, you should see that we have the start menu alignment on the left. Now we can still fix a few more issues with the taskbar. So as you can see, we have this never combined taskbar icons right now on Windows 11. If I right click on the taskbar and click on the properties here, we can change a few of the settings. So taskbar style is currently set on Windows 10, but we can change it to Windows 11 if you want to. But here it will not offer never combined taskbar options. So make sure that you have taskbar style selected on Windows 10. Now, if you scroll down on the start menu, we can change the start menu style if we want to. For example, we can select here Windows 10 and then under the corner preference, we can also select rounded corners with a floating menu. Now, if I open up the start menu, we can see that it's floating with the rounded corners. I think I quite like this UI of the start menu. And uh, with that said, let's move on to the taskbar. So if we want to move the taskbar to different positions, for example, to the top, we can just uncheck the option lock the taskbar and then we can simply drag and move the taskbar to different position. So I will put it to the bottom where it belongs in my opinion. And uh, now I will right click once again and click lock the taskbar. Now we can also add the seconds to the taskbar if we want to. So for example, if you go here to the system tray sub menu in the properties, you can check this option show seconds in the clock. Make sure that you enable this feature. And as you can see, we have the seconds in the clock and still we here have one gear icon for the control center. So we can disable this as well. So for example, if you uncheck the control center button, we can do that as well and then restart the file explorer. There shouldn't be the control center icon anymore here. So the next thing that bothers many people in Windows 11 is right click context menu. So this is the default Windows 11 context menu and we still need to press one more button to actually get to more options, which is quite annoying. So to fix this issue, we can use program called shell and this one will actually offer a few more options with the right click context menu. So here on this website, if you click down on button right here and make sure that you here select the installer version, click on this one, open up the setup exe, click yes here, 
click next and install the program. Now we still need to restart the Windows Explorer so I will press OK here and after that the new right click context menu should be here. So as you can see it's quite instant when you press right click on your desktop for example. Here we also have a few more options, terminal, more options, personalized display settings, new, go to for example. These are all the settings that this program or this extension of the context menu actually offers and I think it's quite great. Great alternative for the default right click context menu. And another thing that bothers me with Windows 11 is that no matter what you search in Windows start menu, for example, if you go to the web search, it will always open up in Microsoft Edge, not the default browser. So this is the issue that we are going to fix next. So for example, if I search for the Google and press enter to see web results, you can see that it will always open in Microsoft Edge no matter what because I also have Firefox set as my default web browser. Now to fix this issue we are going to install this is Windows 11 to fix this issue so make sure that you click on this zip file. Make sure that you go to your downloads folder, right click and click extract all then click extract once again and after that open up this is Windows 11. Click more info, run anyway, click yes here and you should be good to go. Now we can go to the automate tasks option right here at the bottom. Now we can go to the edge and now I'm going to select bypass edge as default handler for web searches and then click run selected and then you will press yes right here. Now after that you should see the message selected tasks have been successfully executed. Press OK and then we can close This Is Win application. As a bonus, you can always add additional features to Windows using Microsoft Power Toys. Now, I'm going to only focus on three specific tools that Microsoft Power Toys actually offers. And the first one is called File Explorer Add-ons. It adds additional features when using File Explorer on Windows. The second, which is my favorite tool, which Microsoft Power Toys actually offers, is called Power Toys Run. So what this one does, it adds additional window for search on your desktop or wherever you actually are. Now, if you go to the next one, which in my opinion is also quite good and it's called Text Extractor. Now, this one will extract the text from the image. So let me show you how it works quickly. So if you press the activation shortcut, Windows plus Shift plus T, and then for example, you can select the image on your desktop. So right now it copied the text from this image to my clipboard. And right now, if I press here, Control plus V to the notepad, you can see that it successfully extracted the text from the image. Really handy tool if you ask me. Now let me show you how to uninstall every single tweak and the application showed in this video. Now if you open up start menu, search for the control panel, press enter and then make sure that you select here uninstall a program. So from here we can uninstall explorer patcher, click uninstall, then press yes. And then here it will ask you, are you sure you want to remove Explorer Patcher from your computer? Here you'll press yes. And now you can see that we have Windows 11 taskbar back. Here we can uninstall the shell option that we installed previously. And from here we can also uninstall Microsoft Power Toys, like so. And we still need to remove the default web browser tweak. So to fix that, we are going to open the file explorer, go to the downloads folder, and from here, make sure that we run this is Windows 11 once again. Now here, let's go back to the automate tasks and under the edge, make sure that we once again run this option or this script, bypass edge, run selected, click yes, and we are good to go. Right now, if I search here for Google, for example, it will open up in Microsoft Edge, as you see. And we successfully removed everything showed in this video. And with that said, thank you so much for watching till the very end. All the files, all the tweaks, all the applications used in this video will be also provided in video description down below. And if you haven't already, and you of course enjoyed the content, make sure that you smash up the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel if you found the value. And of course, if you haven't already, you can always buy me a coffee on coffee.com. Link in video description as well. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.